guys, welcome back. My name is Katie, and today I'm going to be doing the mid year book freak out tag. I'm really excited to do this tag because I created a book bucket list of 2016, so I'm really excited to kind of look at how that is going and also just answer some of these questions. And I will link the original creator's video down below, and let's just get right into it. So, the first question is best book you've read so far this year, and for me, it's got to be The Last Star by Rick Yancey. This is the third and final installment in the fifth wave series, which is a young adult sci-fi apocalyptic series that I absolutely loved. Gave a 5 out of 5 stars to all three books. I thought this was the perfect, most bittersweet way to end this series. Like, I can't even tell you how much I really enjoyed this book. I read it in like 48 hours. It was so good, so much fun. The characters just own my heart and I'm just, this is the best book I've read this year so far. The next question is best sequel you were read so far this year. There were a lot of contenders for this one, but for now I'm going to go with City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I have read a shit ton of Cassandra Clare books. This year I read City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of, Lost, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess. Those are I've all read those within like a three month span and this one is the one that really I just absolutely adored. This is my favorite of the Mortal Instruments series and while I enjoyed the Infernal Devices a whole heck of a lot more than I enjoyed the Mortal Instruments, this book was just so good and amazing and it was just everything I would want in a sequel. The next question is new release that you haven't read yet but you really want to. For me this is going to be The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. I really want to read. This is the second installment in the Wrath and the Dawn duology. Loved the first one. The second one has been out since like February. I, I don't even own it. I'm just like totally slacking on this, but I've heard amazing things about it and I really, really want to get to it. The next question is most anticipated release for the next second half of the year. Really anticipating Crooked Kingdom, the second book in the Six of Crows duology, as well as A Torch Against the Night by Sabata here. That is the second book in the Ember and the Ashes series trilogy do all no one really knows what's up with this series but I loved it loved the first book so I'm really anticipating the second one the next question is biggest disappointment and for me this is going to be Outlander by Diana Gabaldon this is a 32 hour audiobook that I listened to and I did not enjoy I think I ended up giving it a two out of five stars not my style at all. I just really did not like it. It's just, it's my personal preference. It was so hyped up and I just, I'm just not a fan. I'm sorry. I can't, I just did not like it. The next question is going to be favorite new author. And for me, I also have a lot of new authors that I have discovered in 2016. But for me, I think I'm going to pick Emma Mills. And she wrote the novel First and Then, which is a loosely based Pride and Prejudice retelling. And I know that she has two new books coming out. And I thought this was just really fun. It was a really like contemporary that I flew through. And I don't pick up a lot of contemporaries. So I think that's saying something. Emma Mills, I was genuinely excited to hear that she had two new books coming out. So I'm going to pick her for my favorite new author of the year so far. The next question is new fictional crush. And it has to be my bae, Jem Carstairs. I love him. I haven't hauled this book yet. I bought this used um, for like six dollars. They have the whole set but I only bought Jem because he is Bay and he is my newest fictional crush. He is. I love him so much. And then I have a book that made you cry. For this I am picking Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. This book was fantastic. I did a whole review of it on my channel if you guys want to go check it out. It is an adult kind of contemporary novel. It takes place in the 70s and it follows a mixed race Chinese American family and it's just on, it's just so insightful and um, beautifully written. I just adored it and it, it was really, it made me cry. It made me cry tears. It was just, it was really good. The next question is a book that made you happy and for this I'm going to go with The Martian by Andy Weir. I read this at the very, very beginning, I listened to this at the very, very beginning of 
January and I still think about how happy this book made me. This makes you like have faith in humanity and like working together and just like solving issues and problems and I just Oh, it made me feel so good. It made me feel so good. Next question is most beautiful cover that you have bought so far this year. And I don't know, the one that immediately came to mind, and I haven't even read this book yet, is Starflight by Melissa Landers. I just adore this cover. I think it's so beautiful with the stars on it and just feels really nice and has just a great aesthetic to it. And I just love it. That's why I'm going to pick this one right now. The next question is what books you need to read by the end of the year. I have a lot. Like I mentioned before, I made a book bucket list video. So if you guys want to head over there and check that out, I'm not even halfway. It's my top 16 books I want to read in 2016. And I have, I think, 11 of them left. Some of them are sitting right there in the shot. It's it's a lot. I'm I'm not doing too good on my book bucket list. I'm doing great on my Goodreads challenge. I've read 45 books this year out of 50, but I'm not doing too great on the book bucket list. So we're gonna work on it. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. So that is it for the mid-year book freak out tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to know what you guys still have to read. Do you have a huge bucket list you still have to read in 2016? We'll get to it. We'll work on it together. I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!